Hey everyone, Ryan from Foxtech here. Today, I'm going to show you how to hide app names in iOS 18. This new feature is perfect for anyone who wants a more minimalistic and clean home screen. Let's get right into it. In iOS 18, you can now hide the names that appear below your app icons, leaving just the icons themselves. This is great if you prefer a streamlined look or just want to declutter your home screen. The icons still work the same, but without the text underneath, your screen looks a lot more polished and neat. To hide app names, start by tapping and holding anywhere on your home screen until the app icons start jiggling. This indicates that you're in editing mode. Once you're in this mode, look at the top left corner of the screen and tap on the Edit option. After that, you'll see a new option labeled Customize. When you tap on Customize, you'll have the ability to toggle between different settings for your app icons. Here's where you can choose whether to keep or remove the app names. If you prefer smaller icons, the app names will still appear as they traditionally do. However, if you switch to larger icons, the app names will be hidden, leaving you with just the icons themselves. This makes it easy to identify apps visually without the text cluttering your home screen. One more thing iOS 18 gives you even more control over the appearance of your home screen. In addition to hiding app names, you can adjust the color or tint of your icons. For example, the icons can switch between light and dark modes automatically depending on the time of day. This means your home screen can look lighter during the day and darker at night, helping with visibility and personalizing the look of your device. Overall, these customization features in iOS 18 allow you to create a home screen that's not only functional, but also visually appealing. Whether you want a minimal look or something more adaptive, iOS 18 gives you the flexibility to make your iPhone truly yours. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. See you later.